<laughs> okay, guys, we are going to start. I hope all of us, those who are having a laptop, they have late net been running in their PC and it's running properly. Did you test it? It's running properly. Okay. We did we all go through our material? Do you have an idea? No. Okay. Who can tell me how to open our net spin? You can give me a step. Hmm? Hmm? Did any one of you know how to open that bin? Double click and then what is next? Hmm? How to write your first program in that bin? Hmm? Okay. You are saying application, let me write it down. Say application. File. New project. Yes. And then you rename it. You rename your pro projects. And then finish. Yeah. And then so far. You say so far. And then main. <laughs> That's all. This is how you open it. Okay, let's try. I was just gonna follow what you guys gave me. Is that okay? Yeah. You say we should go too far. New project. C plus plus. And then C plus plus application. And next, we name. Okay. Let me just name it. Okay. And then what else? Finish. Let's try to run it. What's wrong with it? Do you know? Does it running properly? No. Yes. We. Oui. Yes. No. No. Why no? no? Why no? Does it running properly or that it doesn't? <laughs> um, yes. Okay, it's running properly. Don't follow this. There is no inputted output error. Uh, no one is running properly. Our first program, set of program that you are going to try to do today. I mean, so we did a couple of them. But first of all, I would like us to. All of us knows how to write hello world. I don't know why we always start programming with hello world. So we are going to start with our hello world programming. So if we want to write a hello world programming here, what are we going to do? Can anyone give me a 
command a comment a command for me to write there for it to for us to publish a little bit. Do you guys know? Hmm? It's not clear. <laughs> if I want to print out any words, what should I write here? See out and then? I should write it here, here, here on top. I should remove what? I'm listening to you. Hmm? Hmm? I should start line number 16. Okay, I should write, you say see out. See out, and then what should follow? Hmm? Which arrow? This one? And then what else? And then what else? How should I close it? Hmm? Arrow is supposed to go in. You see? Must go out. Okay. So you say, let me close this and then I'll put what you say, and then which we are going to try to run both of them and see the outputs. Hmm? Which one is right? I should put N line and then semicolon. Okay. This one you say, this is all. No, semicolon. Okay, I should. At the end. There is one semicolon. Where? I should remove it. I'm following you, everything you are saying. It's out. Outside way. Outside way. <laughs> First of all, I want to get what you guys know. He said to me I should remove what is inside of the bracket. That's why I remove and then I'll, we'll try also with those things inside of the bracket and then see how the answer will look like. So I'm following what you guys are telling me first before me going to what I know. And then what next? That's all. I should include that. Okay. Now we can run it. And then let me try the second one. So you are saying that we should put C out, and then the R is supposed to go out. This way, right? Yeah. In. That means the way that it, it was. An N line. Okay. Then you say end line. 
What is the purpose of headline, if I may ask? You don't know. <laughs> hmm? Normally, we use headline to create like, it's like a backspace. When you are typing using words, you press enter for it not to be in the same row when you are publishing it. The following sentence or the following things is going to come on the second line, not on, in the same line with, with the one that you are publishing here. Did you get it? Or oh, I still have to repeat? Is that OK? Like in this? Yeah. Semicolon. There we go. There we go. Did you guys understand what was the problem? Don't even forget this one. This one is taking the library of the library stream of C++. If you forget it in your program, you're still going to have some error when you're running it. Did you get the error? If I forget to run, to put include our stream, that's what I say. We tried later, we found the error, isn't it? The pro our program was not running. Didn't we try it? Can I try to pull it off and then we see if it's still gonna run? What is another way to use the headline instead of writing end line? Hmm? Backlash, and where should I put it? Here. Where? Yes. Yeah, no. Where? Between the exclamation mark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, so, we're still going to have the same answer, right? Let me try this. Is it in the same answer? Right? Are we all okay with what? With that? Who has the problem? Who has the problem with this? Before me starting something else. This is the basic, and then we're still gonna keep on adding on top of it. Everyone okay? Everyone understand this? Yeah. This is coming from a compiler, my PC. Mm. No. Me? Why am I having it? Because I'm having some problem with some of the pilots in my PC. Joel? Yeah? Okay, one of your friends can try to run it from this PC and then see the output. It's not affecting your output, it's not affecting your answer. Can you guys try to run it from your PC and then see if you're still gonna have the same? You can try to figure it. Which one? Hmm? Still. It's not changing anything. Those are just variable normally. We call it variable no? that can be passed to the main function. So like in, like in this case, we are not passing any value. So we can remove them or we can t leave it there. 
depends on us. Those things. You want to see the problem in those Run it from your PC and then see. Try your friend has a laptop with you. Why can't you run it, see it from it, from his PC? <laughs> I don't know what is making you a problem. <laughs> hmm? If I submit a problem like that. Okay. When you are writing this set of codes, what are you expecting as output? So don't you have it here? Hmm? What does it what does it say? Hmm? Fair regarding to white. Hmm? Hmm? It's still gonna run because of my PC. There are so many things running in my PC. <laughs> Guys, when you run it in your PC, what is happening? Do you have that message? No. So? Because we don't have those things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You are making it a problem and then. Huh? What is the answer that you are having? If it was not running and then you were having a right thing, that is bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you every time. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Did we all try to run it? It's running properly in our laptop. Okay. Uh, let's try to work with some variable. How to declare a variable? Someone can tell someone tell me how to declare a variable. Do you have an idea? Mm, guys, do you have an idea how to declare a variable? Do you have an idea? No. Okay. You say int, int a, comma, comma b, semicolon. I should go to the next line. Int c. Let me go on. Go to the Yeah. Please, guys, please, sir, don't disturb her. <laughs> Let her say what she's telling. Uh, and then C equal to A plus B. And then and then what? Semicolon. Semicolon. Okay. And then I can start. And then I can start. Okay. If I run this, it's going to give me an error. Do you know why? You don't know. You don't know why. Because the initial value of A and B is not set. Set. Because you are telling him to do some calculation based on what he's going to do the calculation. You understand that? Because you are telling him to do A plus B. A plus B, what does it mean? Remember, computer, computer doesn't think the way that you are thinking. 
He's thinking according to numbers. Is that okay? So what should we do to correct that? Hmm? Give a value to A and B. Okay. What if you like the whole set of integers? How do you do them? Say? The whole set of integers. Like from one to last value, and be like a equal to one, b equal to two, c equal going down as like that. Because it's depend. This is the basic. We are having also. You're gonna learn it later on when as we are moving. There is what we call an array. There is what we call a string numbers as well, how to load the string numbers, and then how to load value into the array, whereby you can just get it when you need it, according to your calculation so far. So, like now is like some basic just for you to know how to play around with those variables, how to declare a variable, because we do have two possibilities to declare a variable as well. You guys should know. We're having what we call a local declaration and a public one. Don't worry, we'll cover it. I know that it's sounding Chinese right now, <laughs> but we try to cover it so that we may move together. Like this one, you say, what should we do? We should add equal to? Give me a value, why are you guys scared? One. And then B equal to? If I want to publish this, I want to read the value of C, what should I do? Hmm? C where? Here. That's our value. Is that OK? There is another way. Can someone tell me what is the difference with someone writing like this and then someone also writing it like this? Uh, what is the difference? Do you know the difference? Is there a difference when you're running the program or not? Guys, is there a difference when you are running your program or not? There's no difference. There's no difference. The same, right? Mm -hmm. So I can also put, instead of putting a bracket here, it's directly going to. Oh, this, right? Still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. Okay. Let's try something. I wanna. And then if someone tries to write something like this, where's the error in this code? Just look at the code. Where's the mistake? Am I still going to have the same answer, or am I still going to read the same value of C that, that is there? What should happen? Hmm? <laughs> okay, let's let me try this. Let me put this C equal to three. And then C no, let me put equal to two. And then we see the value that is proper to a pop up. It's gonna be three, but it's not gonna be two. Let's see. The value will be two. It's gonna it's, the value will be this value, not this value. Because this one will be the initial value, but after this is having again C equal to A plus B. So it's going to take the, the next value that, is, that you are giving him as an initial value. Did you get my point? Or so I have to explain again. Mm -hmm. What is happening here? Those are, this one is what we call initialization in programming. You are initializing the value to each and on in all of them. So 
when you're writing here, like here, I write int c equal to 2. This is the value that I'm giving c, right? And then after that, I write again c equal to a plus b. So that means when I'm reading the value, I'm not reading the value of c that is here. I'll be reading this value. If this one comes on top, and then you guys remember, you, there's a slide, I think there's a note where you are talking about the structure of programming. That thing is very important, especially in C, in all the language that you are going through. The way you saw it is the way the computer goes to running, because the computer runs the program from the top to the bottom, not the other way around. You should understand that. Each and every time you are running your program, it's running from here and then going down. Yes, sir? Can I have a question? Uh, I want to know like, this time, like, A and C out. Why this time we don't put C inside the code? OK. That's a very good question. We are not putting it inside of the quote because we declare it already. Also, meaning when we declare, we don't when you declare the value, you don't have to put it inside the quotes. Even those, those, I may say, those sentences that we are putting inside of the quotes, later on we see that you may put, you may declare it as a string value, and then just put here the name of it, and then that will be all. You don't need to put in the quotes. Is that okay? Yeah. Can we try to run this program like this way, and then see the output? Do you guys know how to troubleshoot your program, right? You don't know. How to know that this, this is the error that is giving me, is giving me. Don't you guys know? If you come here, when you are building your program, it's always giving you the idea of the code, where is the problem. Like, in this case, this is the problem that is giving me. Did you guys get it? No. It's giving me this problem, say, in C, and then if you get, look at here, read declaration of int C, that's the problem. And then say again, previously declare here, int C equal to, so what is it claiming? What should I do? I should remove one of them, right? then I have my answer properly. So when you're having a problem with your code, don't panic. Everything's there in your compiler. Just read to it and then you'll find a way out. Is that okay? And then. Equal to no. And then if I want to increment the value of A, what should I do? Increment the value of A. Hmm? 
Yeah. A plus equal to? You say? A plus, what do you say? A plus equal to 1. Right? This is what you said. This is what you said. Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. Let's try to see what will be the value that is going to give us. And then let's run it. So why was you scared? What? Why was you scared? Like. Well, I think I saw it. Yeah, it's there in your notes as well. It's there in your notes. What is another way if you want to increment a? There is another way, guys. Who can tell me about that other way to implement the value of A? Mm, guys, do you have an idea? No. A plus plus. I should write just A plus plus. Mm, you say? Plus plus A. Let me put it here to publish it directly. So plus plus A, right? This is another way to do it. What is another way as well? It's equal to a plus one. And then here we should just remove those two. That's it. What is the difference between putting this? Let me try. Let me try this. Between saying this, and saying this. What is the difference between both of them? I mean, like, let me put. Uh, what is the difference between both of them? When you are running it, what are you expecting? What will be the change when you are compiling it? The same thing. Can we try it practically and then see what will be the output? If it's still going to be the same. Try this one. Let's try this one. It's giving me one, didn't increment. Do you know why? You don't know why. Okay, let's try. I'm not changing anything. Let me just. Try another thing, and then I will explain you why. Then let's try to run it again. 
Silver one. Hmm? Can you guess what is the problem? What is happening? Hmm? Hmm? Can someone tell me? Don't be afraid. There is no bad, bad answer, there is no right answer. So tell me what you think is wrong. What is really happening? Okay. Like I'm adding zero. Okay. Anyone else who can try? Computer is reading from left to right. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, sir. Take the value of. Yeah. Before and Yeah. So that's why we have Anyone else? Anyone else? Don't be scared, just try. Try. No one is wrong, no one is right. Let's try. Who wanna try? Yes, sir. Sir, I think you said you said people lost their programs. It keeps the cool going down. The plans are that side of the private is happening to invest in the second one. Okay. Uh, anyone else? I want like two, two people to try again, and then we are going to discuss about what was the problem. We can try again. We can try. Please, guys, don't be afraid. Hmm? You gave me all the answer, but some of you didn't try. I want some of you to participate as well. Hmm? No, I want us to try. I want us to participate. Because those are challenges, you guys are still going to face it. Our long programming, you're still going to face those kind of challenges. And then some of you are still going to run after us saying, Sir, this is what I did, but it's still not giving me the same answer. You see, that's why I'm giving you some problems. There are some few things that you can meet. You yourself, you know, where am I wrong? So that's why I want us to participate. Because it's not all about coming here, programming the whole thing, and then it's done. Close of the book. Let's go home. Mm, guys. <laughs> we can try. We can try. Mm? <laughs> Some of you, one of you say the answer. Because when you're incrementing like this, that's me, it's taking first the value of A. After the next procedure, it's going to take to increment A. When you are publishing like this, the answer is still going to get A. And then after that, now you are going to get the incrementation of A. Because the first time A is still A. I think there's a way to explain it using the code. See now when I publish the value of A, it's giving me two. Because this one is reading first the value of A. Or the next step. So the first step when it's going through the code is taking the value of A. On the next step, that means one is reading this, D is loading first the value of D, the uh, value of A. When you go again back again to check, that should be the value of A plus. Am I clear or I'm still confusing? Confusing. So, 
No. This is what I'm because when you're programming, you need to know what you want as an out output. You see, because this way is taking you two times. But there's a way whereby you cannot. There's a way whereby you can just use this, and it's gonna do everything. There's what we call you can pull it in a while loop. It's still gonna loop on that A and then still counting, incrementing, incrementing, so on. But you're still gonna cover it later. I'm just showing all the possibility, and then what are you expecting as an output? You see, like this way. If you read the first time, it's going to take, this is going to take the value of A, that is one. But still, A is still going to be increment to be two. But it's not going to take a value of two. And then one is going to read, when you want to read now the value of A, it's not going to be one anymore. It's going to be two. So if you go again, back again, run again the codes, if it was in a loop, that means you're still going to see first time is one, the second time is A is two, the second time, is three, and then still incrementing one by one. Is that okay? Is it clear? Don't pull it in the loop now, because the loop, there's so many things that happen there. <laughs> You're still gonna cover it. Uh, is it clear? Clear, can you move on? Can you move on? Okay. Uh, if we want to do some multiplication, what should we do? Hmm? I should change here. Here. I should put this. Yeah. I think this one you guys know. Okay, let's check our answer. What are we having as an answer? The answer is two. Is that okay? Yeah. Decrement, you guys know, it's still the same with incrementing. You're still gonna face the face challenges. If you put it before, you know what, what kind of the answer you expect. If you put it after, you know which kind of the answer you should expect. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Nice question. Don't worry, I'm coming there. Yeah. Um, about division. This, you said this, no, another one. This one or another one? Black. This one. What should be the answer? Zero. Is it the answer zero? What is then? One over two is the answer zero. One over two. So how are we gonna find out about the, the compiler is giving us zero? What is wrong? I should float it. Let's try. Is that okay? Why must you do it? in a corner. Corner. Do you want the corner to do it? Everything with the corner will flow. Okay. I think in your notes, they're speaking about integer numbers, a double number, floating number, and so on. Those data type. They're speaking about it. Anyone who saw it inside? Didn't you see it? Mm, guys, didn't you see it? 
is there. They are speaking about integer. What is the integer number? What is the double number? What is the float number? And so on. When you are putting a float number, what are you expecting? Expecting which kind of the number is it? You stay confused. It's okay. Uh, there's another way to, to read the remainder. Instead of floating it, what is it? Instead of floating, there's another way to get the remainder that is there. What should you do? If A was 5, say, and B was 2, say, and the answer was going to be 2, say. If it was? A, if A, say, it was 5, say, yeah. and B was A, it was 5, and then yeah. it was int A, say, and then you use that same statement of C, say, the answer was going to be 2, say. Let's try it and then see the answer, what it's going to give us. Let's make it practical. You say int. And then this value should be 5. Yes. We are having a 5 here. And then we should run it. Yes. Everything. What should be the answer? What is it? Oh, yeah. You get it, right? Yes. There's another way to read a remainder. Who told me? You say to put a percentage. Any other word? Any other answer? Answer? Do you have? No. Okay, let's try what you said. the difference? Why is it giving us this kind of answer? You don't know. Hmm? You don't know. You don't know. What is the difference? Can anyone try? Hmm? The remainder is this guy here. This one. So why is it giving me one as a remainder, not 0, 0,5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted to <laughs> Yeah, I said there's another way. We are trying all, all the possibility because I want you to understand all the possibility. Because if you see it somewhere, you know already what you're expecting as an answer. That's why we are trying it as well. That's why I'm asking you why is it giving me 1 instead of 0, 0,5? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's saying what is true. So who, who's, who can try again? Guys, we can try. We can try. Anyone can try. Hmm? No one wanna try. Because remember when you're doing your division. When you are doing your division, this is what's happening. When you are doing your division, we are doing one. How do you put it? Is it like this? Okay. Is it like this? And then two are supposed to be on top of the inside. 
Yeah, or on top. So, when you're doing your division, what should happen first? It's zero, right? You should multiply two by zero. Isn't it? Guys, let's try it together. That's zero. And then here will be zero. And then you're still going to have one as a remainder. That choice is giving you one. It's not going to give you 0, 0,5. Did you get it? Because there you are checking the remainder. You are not checking, you are not telling him to do again some calculation after. You are telling him, give me the remainder. What is remaining there in my calculation? You get it? Did you get it? Is that okay? No. You still have a question. So what is confusing? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, man. Mm. There's one thing. So this one, you guys know. Someone, you ask me a question. If you want to read, you want to insert your own value. How to, to insert it in. Right? Luma, did we cover it already? See, no. But you did it in programming one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you guys know we're having a C in? So how to use a C in? Can someone tell me? Where should I put it? Okay. Mm. See, I should put it where? Here. I should put it where? Here. Where? Down again. Here. Where? Where should I put? And I see out. What can I try? You say C in? And then what should happen? Hmm? This way. And then what should be? Enter the value of? Remember one thing, there's one thing, that's even what the arrow is pointing. If the arrow is pointing this way, that means you are pointing out. You are taking the value from inside of the computer and then you are publishing it. You are pointing it out. When you put C in, that means the value is coming from inside to inside. Sorry. You always come to my class also late. Why, why are you rushing me to go to another class? Yeah? In my class, you came also late. Okay, guys. We cover it next, next week in the next session.